August 28th and 29th, Wednesday and Thursday, the sun is in Virgo and the moon is in Leo. They're one sign apart. Welcome to Michael Jackson's moment of time, where the drama of Leo gets influenced by the Virgo, who's a perfectionist. This, this combination of Virgo-Leo really does create a perfectionist, someone who has so much Leo energy of wanting attention, needing attention, but the Virgo saying, mm, not good enough, not good enough. So if you have this combination, you are excellent at creativity, at clothes, at food, at getting things done, because Virgo's earth and Leo's fire, and you put fire and earth together and they get something done. But the challenge is there's an internal dialogue that Moon and Virgo lives with, like, I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough. There is a grand trine between the Sun and Saturn and Pluto and Uranus and Taurus. So there is this triangle in the heavens making all this earth. But because we're sitting in a Sun in Virgo, Mars in Virgo, Venus in Virgo, even though the Moon in Leo is saying, we can be dramatic, we can be creative, it doesn't mean it comes without the self-consciousness or the feeling of inadequacy or comparison. That's the problem with Virgo Leo. They never feel like they're doing it as good as they should be doing it or as good as you're doing it or they compare themselves to an expert. Whatever happened to just enjoying the moment? The difference between Michael Jackson's version of being a Virgo and really suffering for the desire for perfection and Mother Teresa's version of Virgo where she just selflessly gave and didn't really care what she looked like? Radical. I'm asking you during this Virgo season, do you serve out of a genuine love to give? Or do you serve because you're trying to get something back? Ask yourself that question. Why do I give? Is it genuine, unconditional Mother Teresa love? Or is it because some part of me is looking for approval and acceptance and wants to get feedback? That's the quality of Virgo and Leo together. I'd love to hear from you. Deborah Silverman's talking here from Astrology Answers about the combination of Virgo and Leo and how to let the perfectionist turn into a soul-centered version which says it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be purely from my heart. Everything will change in that moment. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about the four elements and what your missing element is and then figure out how to find balance in your life so all four wheels in the car are balanced, you click the link in the description to grab your copy of my book, The Missing Element. I can't wait to hear what you think of it.